Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have re-signed cornerback Ross Cockrell to a two-year contract. Another key re-signing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They seem to be bringing back pretty much everybody who was an upcoming free agent for themselves, and um, that trend continues now with Ross Cockrell re-signing with the team. And I'll be honest, you know, I think that this is a solid move. You know, obviously Ross Cockrell, he's not a starter. He's probably the fourth or fifth cornerback. He played in 12 games for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he's a solid veteran presence for this secondary unit. He's 29 years old, six foot, around 200 pounds. I mean, he's got the size, he's got that veteran presence, and I think he'll just be a solid backup and be a professional and do what he needs to do, which is just being a fill-in, spot-in guy for when he's needed and continuing to mentor some of the younger guys like Sean Murphy Bunting, like Jamel Dean, and like Carlton Davis. Uh, this move honestly became even more of a necessity or more of a... Uh, beneficial move considering the Buccaneers just lost Ryan Smith to the Los Angeles Chargers. So maybe Ross Cockrell can be kind of that new special teams ace for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We'll have to wait and see on that end, but I'll be interested to see how that develops. But overall, yeah, I think that this is a pretty solid move. Um, nothing flashy, right? He's not going to start all 16 games for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He might not even start a single game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think that um, is to be expected, but he's a solid enough guy. He's a good backup, maybe the fourth, fifth cornerback. And um, overall, I, I think that he adds a lot as a vet, as a uh, veteran presence, as a mentor, as a special teams player. And just overall, he's a good guy to have on your football team. But this is going to be interesting now to see what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do in the NFL draft, because it seems like even with all of their depth concerns um, are starting to go away more and more with the re -sign or sorry, with the new signing of Giovanni Bernard and the re-signing now of Ross Cockrell, that's two more needs that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers can basically essentially check off the list. I mean, they needed a backup cornerback. They just got that in Ross Cockrell. Now, they could still get another one, uh, but we'll have to wait and see with that. And then they got a pass-catching running back in Giovanni Bernard, so check that one off the list as well. So, I mean... Yeah, the Buccaneers really do have so much flexibility as to what they can do in this upcoming draft. Uh, Bruce Arians had said he wanted a lot of speed on defense. <laughs> you know, who knows what that means? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, they still kind of, I guess, technically need some depth along the defensive line, although even in that instance, they still have a lot of guys who could step up and play well. Um, yeah, this is just another move that, you know, great move. Solid signing, but just another question mark as to what in the world are the Buccaneers going to do even in the later rounds of the draft, you know? Because now cornerback depth isn't as much of a pressing need. They still could draft one, like I said, but Ross Cockrell with this re-signing adds a solid depth to guys. So let me know your thoughts about this signing down in the comments section below, guys. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Give me your thoughts. Again, solid signing for me. I really like what Ross Cockrell brings to the team. Two-year deal, too. Not bad at all. So... He's going to be around for the next couple of years, hopefully. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.